let's do mattress stitch. So let's pretend that we have the front and the back of a sweater and I'm going to show you how to do mattress stitch, which is a flat stitch. I'm going to go up the side seams. That's how it would normally look on a sweater. But for all intents and purposes, I'm actually going to go um, up the middle and turn these two pieces that I've got here. So what you're going to need is a wide eye uh, sewing needle and you're going to thread with usually the same color um, as what you're sewing with. But again, today for showing you, I'm going to do it with a different color so you can really clearly see what mattress stitch actually looks like. So sometimes when you have chunky yarn, it can be good to twist the end of it to actually thread it through your needle. Pull that through, giving yourself a good few centimeters again. So lining up your two pieces together on a flat surface, and you're going to start at the bottom of the garment. So again, we're gonna pretend this is a sweater or a sleeve. You're going to go through one stitch and out the other side. It's always good to um, make a little knot in the end there as well. But again, this is just a little tutorial. So we're gonna go through the front of this right side stitch, and we're gonna go through the middle of the stitch on the other side. And that's going to create a mattress or flat, flat stitch effect. So we're gonna pull that through, and then you're gonna continue on with every single stitch, whether this is a neckline, whether this is a shoulder, or whether this is the side of a sweater, whatever the pattern is calling for. Um, when you're doing mattress stitch, you always continue with every single stitch. Again, going through the middle of the right stitch, through the middle of the left stitch, and pulling that through. Again, it's really important when you're pulling it through, don't pull it too tightly, don't have it too loosely, depending on where you're actually sewing up might call for a tighter or a looser. Now you can see here, once you've actually gone through and done your mattress stitches, it creates essentially a flat seam. This is what's used in drop shoulder uh, sweaters and um, sometimes beanies because you want to make sure that the um, the stitch or the seam is flat. So you can see there, that would be the right side of the garment. Again, you would normally probably do this in the same colored yarn, and this would be the back. So it makes a flat seam.